Hello out there, welcome to today's edition of your tasty and informative program, Lunchtime Titbits. I am David Alo and I am going to be playing you good music and take you on a jolly ride through your meal. Our talk over the meal segment today is about man and robots and I am going to be playing for your listening pleasure two of the top five tracks on the official UK Top 100 chart. In case you don't know, robots are machines that are programmed by computers. A robot is capable of carrying out automatically so many work or tasks that we humans cannot do or do as fast as is required. But just how will the robots affect our way of life if the robots are doing the jobs that we are doing? So, what are we supposed to do for a living? I had someone say the other time that robots cannot drive a car, but wait a minute, driverless cars are actually driven by robots, but you can see them, they're hidden somewhere in the car. Do you want to bet? They're being deployed in London very soon. And so, I went to the streets to speak with some people regarding robots, like driverless cars, taking on our jobs. Here is what they said. How do you think about uh, robots taking on our jobs? A uh, concern, really, because if you're losing jobs through robots, who's going to earn money to then buy goods to make the economy to rotate? I think they've got to be concerned about the way they introduce them because of the impact on employment and also people's health. People go to work, uh, gives them a break from, from other routines. If you've got robots, they're going to have a lot of time on their hands because of robots doing all the jobs. What are they going to do? Ninja. So if the robot takes on your job today, what, what are you, have you got any plans at all, contingency plans? I haven't because of my age, uh, so I'm, you know, I'm 60 plus now, so I'd like to retire soon. Yes, I'm, I'm not concerned, I'm concerned for the younger people. Thank you very much. Thank you. How do you feel about uh, the idea that there's going to be driverless taxis uh, being deployed on the streets of the UK? Yeah, um, in my opinion, I think the idea was more to do with the Uber. and. Um, they are a kind of company who are competing against the original taxi founded in London, which is a full black car hacking carriage. That's what we do. Well, I want you to realize that uh, the issue of robots doing jobs is not only limited to taxis. We've got robots uh, working in the factories. So what are you going to do once the robots take over uh, taxi driving? What do you think you're going to do? Uh, you know, the government is not helping. So this is our future. We've been doing this work. I'm a father of three. And it's very, very hard. You have to stay out there all day, all night, 24 seven before you can make a living. And so, back to life, back to reality, soul to soul. All right, before we leave the issue of humans and robots, let's listen to what an auto mechanic has to say about these. How do you feel about uh, driverless cars as a mechanic? Uh, are you going to retrain to be able to service those cars? No, I'll service what I know and that's it. Those okay. cars are dangerous. 
those cars are dangerous. Uh, okay, also when there's no diesel or petrol engine cars, what are you going to do? Have you got uh, uh, another thing to do apart from this mechanic work? You said self-driving cars. Yes, yeah, self-driving cars. If they're self-driving cars, it doesn't matter about that. It's that side you've got to train for, yeah. But if a car drives itself, it goes wrong. If it goes wrong, what is it down to? To the car or to the person who's driving it? So you think the car's ever going to go wrong? Of course, everything goes wrong. So if it doesn't go wrong and people start uh, using these cars and there is no petrol or diesel engine to service, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? Have you got any skill or any job you could fall back on to do? One, one, job, one, is your one job. job is your job. Thank you very much. She played her fiddle in an Irish band But she fell in love with an Englishman Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hands of baby, I just want to dance with my pretty little girl It's Ed Sheeran's Galway Girl and I really want to be part of your life at this moment in time on Lunchtime Tidbits. I never heard Carrick Fergus ever sung so sweet A cappella in the bar using her feet for a beat Oh I could have that voice playing on repeat for a week And in this packed out room where she was singing to me You know she played a fiddle in an Irish band But she fell in love with an Englishman Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hand Remember, Prime Minister Theresa May announced a couple of days ago that there's going to be a general election on June 8, 2017. You need to register and ensure that you have your cards ready if you are of voting age. It is your civic responsibility to vote your leaders. A cold spot, smell of smoke, whiskey and wine As we fill up her lungs with the cold air of the night I walked her home, then she took me inside To finish some Doritos and another bottle of wine I swear I'm gonna put you in a song that I write About a Galway girl and a perfect night She played a fiddle with an Irish man She fell in love with an English man Ed Sheeran's Galway girl this lunchtime I just wanna dance my pretty little Galway girl How are you getting on with your life out there? You having lunch or driving or you just chilling out on a break or you just busy busy? I bring you right from the top of the UK's official singles chat top 100, Symphony by Zara Larson. Zara Larson's Symphony is on the top of the UK's 100th chart for this last week of April 2017. And just before I leave you on my part of this program, I want to encourage you to always be your brother's keeper. Another election is around the corner, let's be positive and let's accommodate the view of all the people. I leave you with my song as I like to do. Give someone love, and that's my gift to you on this week's edition of Lunchtime Titbits. I am David Alo. See you next time. Someone beside you need all the love you can give
give someone love? Will you give someone your love? Someone beside you needs all the love you can give. Will you give someone love? Mm -hmm. Will you give someone love? Look all around, there's so much to do. Let your heart be touched with a feeling inside Look all around, whatever you can do You can be the one, the one who cares Will you be someone who cares? Will you be someone who cares? Someone beside you needs all the care you can give Will you be someone who cares? Will you be someone who